But dozens of murders in recent weeks in Dallas. Our Jack Fink crunched the numbers to find out how the city's murder rate compares to other cities of similar size. And Jack, what did you learn? Well, Gilman, Dallas is the ninth largest city in the U.S., so we took a look at San Antonio and San Diego, the seventh and eighth largest cities, plus San Jose, the tenth largest city. And we found Dallas had far more murders than those cities last year. Dallas had nearly as many murders last month as it did during the first four months of this year. And between January 1st through May 31st, the city had 90 murders. During the same period last year, there were 71. It's concerning. I mean, we really need to figure out how to, what the source of this is and get it under control. Dallas Councilmember Lee Kleinman says he supports Dallas Police Chief Renee Hall, who started her summer crime initiative two weeks early because of the spike in murders. While Dallas had 41 murders last month alone, the city of Chicago, which has twice as many people, had 57. And we found Dallas had nearly twice as many murders as San Antonio last year, and more than five times the number of murders as San Diego, and seven times more than San Jose. Yesterday, Governor Abbott offered the state's resources to help the city. We should take advantage of any resources available to us to try to get this, this crime under control. I appreciate the governor offering that. I haven't had a chance to talk with Chief Hall regarding that, but I do plan to within the next 24 hours to see what uh, her response is. Dallas Mayor Pro Tem Casey Thomas supports Chief Hall as well. As of April 30th, DPD had just under 3,000 officers, and there's a staffing study of the department that remains ongoing. We're expecting to get the results of the study uh, very soon, uh, hopefully before the council goes on recess. And the council goes on recess next month. Chief Hall will be briefing the council's public safety committee on her crime reduction plan Monday morning. Live at Dallas City Hall, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.